Hey guys, good morning. Another bright and sunny day here again in Chicago. I'm calling today my Supercharger Independence Day. So I've had my car now for, oh, probably seven or eight months. I've been doing strictly supercharger charging on it. I had that 5,000 mile incentive. I'm down to like 500 miles left on it and it's time to get my own charger installed. So it's actually been a pretty lengthy process. So there's permitting you have to get in the city of Chicago to put one in. You have to find a licensed electrical contractor and then you have to find some charging system that your building allows. So I managed to uh, get all those moving pieces together. I've got Current Electric coming out tonight and they are installing an EverCharge charger in my space. So I'm gonna take you guys through the process and we'll see how it goes. All right, see you soon. And this is uh, Roberto, he's here with Current Electric and he's the guy installing my charger today. So yeah. I ran into him, what, six months ago in this garage? Ago, yeah. yeah, flagged him down, saw, we saw him. Another install and here yeah. we are again. Yeah, so we're right out here. So basically, maybe you can run us through the process of exactly what you're doing. Right, yeah, so we're installing a 50 amp uh, disconnect along with the EverCharge charging station for the Tesla's uh, vehicle. And uh, it takes about a day, hopefully. Uh, everything should run smooth, uh, pretty simple, and uh, straightforward. All right. And that's a uh, BMW i3 that just went by. That was the charger you were installing yeah, when I met you. I remember, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so pretty cool, exciting stuff we got going on here. I think uh, pretty exciting to get it in these units, in these buildings here in Chicago. All right. And then we've got a panel over here, so we're going to be running. We're going to be running our three quarter conduit uh, with our power feed off of this panel. Oh, if I could get it open. There you go. There's the trick right there. Yeah, so we got plenty of breakers. Tons of open of breakers, breakers in here. Spaces. So, I thinking they thought ahead. Yeah, we in we, this building. We definitely did uh, when we did the infrastructure here. You know. Oh yeah, thought, you guys did the original yeah, wiring. We here. did all the install here, so uh, we can come out of each panel here and just go home with any of these spots that needed and wanted any spots. Okay. Uh, charging stations. Yeah. So this will be a, a rather simple one here. Okay. I'm hoping it'll take, you know, maybe a little bit past noon or so to, awesome. to finish. I'm hoping every, like, that everything goes well and yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm calling this my supercharger freedom yeah. day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm yeah. out, out from under the superchargers. Yeah. So basically you're going to run conduit. It's going to go into the concrete. How, where are you going to mount yeah, it? It'll be surface mounted right on the concrete. Okay. And I can take it right on the, on the ceiling here and kind of maneuver around those pipes, bend over and into my disconnect. Okay. So it's just going to go right down here. Got this nice Jaguar next to me. And then you can see my car is sitting right there. And then he'll mount the charger right in front of it so I can bring the cable back and charge. All right. Pretty exciting. Cool. All right, man. Yeah, you ready you. to go? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, cool. Thank I appreciate you it. Nice thank you. you. Yeah, Thanks good seeing you out. too. Yeah, absolutely. All right, just got down to the parking garage to check on the guys. They're on break, um, just stepping out for lunch. But they made a lot of progress on it, so let's check out what they're doing. So, kind of all the tools of the trade down here, a bunch of wire. They've got a laser leveler here so they can uh, get the conduit really straight. It's really, they're just starting over here at the panel. And they've added this chunk of conduit it's gonna run up along the ceiling and they're surface mounting it into the concrete. And they really made some good progress. Gotta do the little bump, bend it around this pipe and they're over here getting close to my spot and they were kind enough to cover up everyone else's cars so you don't get any dust on them. And then here's the actual charger. I haven't flipped it over to see it yet, but uh, yeah, let's just do it, it's mine. Let's check it out. 
Yeah, it's gonna be pretty sweet. He did show me uh, one tool to keep the dust down. They've got this uh, Milwaukee hammer drill and they've got this dust cover on it. So it just sucks all the dust out. That's pretty sweet. All right, well that's it for now. Robert's connecting up the power right now. Look at him go, man. It's looking really good. Peter did all this expert conduit work. Looks nice and tight. Here's the charger. And we got some weird spaces in this building, so there's no way of really backing the car in and getting it out easily. So we gotta do super long connector. All the way back here to the back. All right, let's take a look at the instructions. Plug in your vehicle anytime, day or night. Tap your membership card. Charging begins when ready. And it's got some indicator lights on it. And they give you these cards. So this actually accesses the charger and lets the electricity start to flow so I don't have people just showing up and uh, <laughs> charging on this thing randomly, pirating my electricity. So we're just waiting for them to activate it right now, and then uh, we can start the first charge. Hello, James? Robert, hey, you need to start a charge. Yes, how are you? You're very right. sorry about that. All right, so I am uh, checking in now. How close is this charger to the, uh, like the nearest panel? Uh, the nearest panel, we're talking 50 feet? 50 feet? Yeah. Okay, we should be good. You uh, I'm going to update all the charters because we haven't updated the site yet. So okay. I'm going to do that. It's going to probably take me um, probably about an hour. I don't want to keep you there, but we should be all good to go. All right. Well, it took him a couple hours to actually activate the charger. So now it's all activated and ready to go. First charging. I haven't tested this yet, so let's see how it goes. All right. So, so let's plug it in. And then you go back and tap the card. Right here, it's got a chip in it. And it's supposed to activate the charger. Yes, it's charging. So that blinky light is a good sign. Let's see what it shows in the car. We'll see, so two hours and 40 minutes to charge it all the way back up to 80% from 65%. Not too bad, so I'm just gonna let it sit. So, now I'm not so tight of the superchargers anymore. Let you guys know how this goes in the future, but and the whole reason I had to install this 
ever charged charger here in my garage is because I couldn't use the regular Tesla charger because the building has no way to split out the electricity bill. There's probably, I don't know, maybe 15 different Teslas in here that are charging or EVs. Uh, one guy's got a BMW i3 for some reason. But anyway, uh, I think it's a really good thing to have this. Cost me in total um, about $1,300 for the charger and about $1,700 for all the electric work that the guys did. So I think money well spent. I'll let you know how the bills come out though uh, at the end of the day. But I think we're all good. Once again, appreciate you guys tuning in. Please subscribe if you haven't. And I do have a referral code down there if anyone's thinking about buying a Tesla, they find my videos helpful and they'd like to send me some free supercharger miles, I'll always find a use for those. All right guys, thanks a lot. I will talk to you soon.